Hello lads and ladies and welcome to this and welcome back for another video on the channel. Today it is Portsmouth against Fleetwood Vlog. It's quarter past four in the morning. I am off to Fratton Park. I can't wait. Not to play Portsmouth, that bit's going to be a bit hard, but I'm looking forward to the day. You know, meeting up with Tom Ford and written all over it, but... Portsmouth, good football side. You know, they play 4-4-2, they play the strengths. You know, Marlon back in the midfield, you know. I think our result depends on how we deal with him today. I think if we don't deal with him, we lose the game. If we deal with him, good opportunity to get a point, possibly three. You know, you've got Bishop, who's a good player, who scores goals, seven league goals this year. You know, Dane Scarlett, who scores goals. You know, you've got goals from all areas on the pitch as well. You know, they're a good side. The fans are the extra man. For me, at home, you know, up there, one of the best, you know, one of the best supports away from home. Fratton Park sucks the ball into the net. And again, we're going to have to be switched on for a couple of hours from the warm-up right to the final whistle today. Looking forward to this. Getting down to Friday, meeting up with Tom. Again, good interview coming up with him on the channel as well. Let's get down to Friday. I think Fleet will lose 2 0 today. There's no reason why we can't get a point. Dare to believe we can get something. Come on, the cards. Let's start this away day here. Just arrived here in Pompey, looking forward to this good side, play 4-4-2, amazing city, amazing fans, you know, brilliant ground, you know, you don't come to grounds like this often, special, special place, they're a good side, we're going to have to be at it from the warm-ups, it's an unchanged side for Fleetwood, uh, we'll speak to Tom soon, looking forward to seeing him, uh, don't know why though, but looking forward to this game because they're a good side, for me they'll be in the top two at the end of the year, they've got good enough players, Marlon Pack, brilliant, Dane Scarlett, you know, deadly at times, you know, I think Colby Bishop was coming and been the, dish, uh, the, the kind of the difference for them really, and you know the more clinical they're seeing off games now, and they're just a, a much more much better side now, and hopefully that can continue. Not today. They're playing Electric Dreams in the background. Hopefully we are singing together in Electric Dreams after a Fleetwood win or a point. I take a point like a cup final today. Tom, how are we doing, mate? Good to see you. I got, up at, I got up at 3 a.m. this morning to see you, so just, oh, just come just down to, to see, see you. <laughs> Absolutely, mate. Looking forward to today. Very you much know, so. we, we spoke a couple of weeks ago about how you're doing here. We What's did. changed? New manager, obviously, Danny Cowley. Had time now to get his thoughts across. Go good on. guy, isn't he? Yeah. Sorry, mate, I completely missed that because someone said good morning, Andrew, in my right ear. But I'm assuming you're talking about the changes that you've seen. Yeah, about Danny Kelly. And about I hear the Kelly. Konami round there. Yeah, I like him yeah, that. got a bit of that, yeah. The one thing will be the same that you came here to see last season, and that is character. We will yeah. show the same kind of resilience. Going a goal behind, we went a goal behind against Peterborough. We've come back from losing positions against Plymouth. All right, we came back at the weekend but lost the game ultimately against Ipswich. So the character and the spirit and the resilience of the group is great. The character will be shown... Hopefully, if we can get the early goal against a team that, with respect, are going to set up to frustrate, yeah. we know that's going to happen. Um, get the early goal, and I think we'll be rocking and rolling today. I agree. I saw a tweet saying, don't disrespect Fleetwood, and that came from a Portsmouth fan. Yep. You know, we've already beaten Peter, uh, Peterborough away from oh, home. Mate, we're due real. to Derby. You know, we beat Plymouth at home as yep. well. So, you know, we're getting results on the board as you well. Are. What are you thinking again today? You know, you're at home. Good, good. No, I think you've sold out the home end as well. The away end, not not quite as sold out. Not, um, not quite, we won't no. mention how many just yet. Not quite. What do you think today, score predictions wise, mate? Um, score prediction is a three 0 Pompey for me today. If we get that early goal, if not, it could be a completely different story. But I think this is the most confident fleet we can come here in a number of years. I think you might you might say that you might not. Um, I think we need to respect you a lot. You've got a lot of good players. Um, Rooney is one that stands out for Love me, him. mate. Shit house. Yes, yeah, shit house. Absolutely. <laughs> um, and I think Paddy Lane's probably going to score at some point if the scoreline's not. 3-0. I'll sit yeah. with my 3-0. If you score first, different story. What do you reckon? Is What's it, your score? I think you've changed channel name now. 3-0 written all over it. 3-0 written all over it. Well, we can't there we go. go for today. Yeah, you uh, said 2-0 Pompey to me. Do you yeah. want to say that on your own channel as well or not? No. Well, you just knew that was <laughs> going to happen. Uh, I didn't think so. Again, finally, I want a quick prediction. Where are we both going to finish this year? Oh my God. Fleetwood first to take the pressure off. <laughs> Fleetwood first, Pompey second. There you go. Sorted. <laughs> there you are. The real answer. <laughs> Um, Pompey second or third, Fleetwood, where you are now on my table. I agree with that, mate. Top, all the best. Go and subscribe to 4 0 written all over it. He's a good lad, really. Brendan, got his dad with him as well. Score predictions today, lads. Oh. Fleetwood are in town, it's, remember it's that. It's going to be tough. It will be tough because I know Fleetwood are a very strong team. Yeah. Obviously, Scott Brown's a very disciplined bloke and obviously disciplines his team in a, in a, in a specific way. But I think Pompey will be a bit stronger than you lot today, personally. I think Cowley's got a bit more tactical nouns. Yeah. 
So I'm going for a, a 3 1 Pompey. I'll give you a goal. You used to like you, but I like you giving this goal. Mate, what's your score prediction my, again? My, mine's 3 1 because I will give you a goal. I mean, your, your record so far is. I mean, people shouldn't turn their noses up at it. Yeah, I think you've been all right this season, actually. Yeah. And you will come good. I don't think you'll be as low as what Tom thinks. I think you'll be just outside the playoffs, which, yeah, all right, mid table if you want to. But yeah, 3 1. I'll give you a goal here. I was what a yes or no answer. Yeah. Are you finally going up this year? Because it's about time. Portsmouth are back in the second tier, fighting for Premier League football, really, let's be honest. Yeah, I think, yes, I think we will, because I know every club says this, but there's something special happening at this club this year. Yeah. <laughs> More for this shot. <laughs> but yeah, there's something, something special happening at the club this year. Danny's got the boys going, Danny's at the wheel, it's going to be our year to at least go up. Maybe not champions, I know Pompey are used to being champions, but when we go up, we're normally the champions. But yeah, this is our year. We're, we're going up. He's done the Rio Ferdinand on those lads, so make it, the, wheel. the wheels might come off. Are you going up? Is it about time? I think it is. I think it is. Whether we do it via automatic promotion, which I hope. Yeah. I think. I think the playoff place, and I think we're very strong. I think we're. we're yeah. Let's have another day at Wembley. Let's have a playoff final at Wembley. Could, but, your, heart, could your heart deal with it? Yeah, my my heart could. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't think Mike and Fleet have got there. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. It, it can be disappointing. But uh, no, we've got a good record at Wembley, and, and I hope Pompey will carry it on in, if we go to the playoffs. But I hope we get automatic. Lads, all the best. Cheers, buddy. Uh, up the cards and up the port for the yeah. rest of the season. Yeah. In the ground now, special ground this. Now, this is League One, and it's like, you should never be in League One. You know, good ground, you know, good fan base. You shouldn't be coming here getting three points, really. We feel like robbery if we come here and get three points at this rate. I just think that we're going to have to be difficult to play against, which we have been. Not to see many chances, which Bar Burton we have been. We need to be switched on, which we have been. But it's against Paul's, it's a really, really good side away from home. And they've got to be off a few gears, in my opinion, to get something today. I think this is my fourth or my fifth visit here. Still getting a little bit goosebumps coming here. Do from thinking that we're playing teams of this nature, of this size, you know, population of 25,000, you know, a bunch of world of our way, you know, the squad's got enough for League One, but the, the town, probably not League One, let's be honest. Marlon Park, Morel in midfield, you've got Dale, Caroma on the wing, you've got Bishop and Scala on the front six, let's be honest, that is scary. I want to make me move! No chance, you knew he was in as soon as he hit it. I said he's a danger man. He scored a similar goal against Plymouth Argyle recently. It's an absolute screamer. He's done it again. A Portsmouth lead up front and park by a goal to only about seven, eight minutes in. A long afternoon to wait. Brilliant start for the Blues. Caroma dancing feet, Sean Raggett overlapping. Never thought I'd see that in my life. Uh, again, they're just getting bodies forward. They're, if I was them, I'd be looking at us thinking they can get five or six here. You know, they're, they're well on top. They're absolutely getting us into a corner. We can't get out. Looking panicky on the ball. We're looking like we were last year for the first time, really, since maybe not last week, but last season. I think we've been very soft, very naive in the first ten minutes. You come here, they'll eat you alive. They'll, you know, sniff you up. You know, eat you, get rid of you, and on to the next. They're nasty. They weren't like this last year. With the mentality, and Danny Cowles installed that. Go on, Paddy. Oh. oh, short bastard corners. The good, though. The good. Yeah. I love short corners. To get everything out of the stairs. We won 
one. How the hell is that happening? I didn't see what played. They've had it all. And the one one is Tyler Fenders Gomez. Wait for the fire, 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 fire. That's the way we like it, like it, like it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, again, we're letting a free run a run. You know, again, lose the ball from a forward run. You know, I don't know if that hold it up. You know, good save, Jalen, stick it around the post. They're going to get up. We need to get through to half time. Just a 20 odd minutes to go. Get there, get there. Connor Hall drive with a big, big block there. A lot was said about the missed chance. It's a huge block. Well, you can tell this referee's been to card factory for all the games. He, he loves giving you know yellow cards out for the little things. I just think let the game play. I said before the game we need to come, make it difficult, stop, start the play. You know, if we need to foul, take him down. It's, you know, it's not the best way to come and get results, but it'll come and be effective. And so far it has been, but they've got moments of court that can unlock the back door. And it could happen at any given time. No threat on for them in the second half. So, a bit of a boost for us, but they still found a way. They've got some lots of good players. They stopped playing you know, decent football in the second half as well. You know, Corona looked dangerous in the first half. I think Sarah has had his day. He was injured in the first half, carried on. You know, I like the way it's going on. I think Brown maybe said, we'll give it five minutes. If you don't know, we'll, we'll take you off. He's gone down again. Drew Baker back on the 18 today. Coming on. The barbarians are at the gates now. The Hall of Rolls going on. Player Pomp is blaring out. Now, this is what I mean. Basically, you've got to come to these places, go through difficult moments. The next few minutes are going to be a difficult, difficult patch. You're going to have to get through it. If you want the point, you're going to have to go to absolute war, lads. I'm talking extreme. You're going to have to do things that you know you don't want to do. It's dirty work. You get, get your bodies in the line. You know, make fouls if you have to do it. You know, it's not a nice place to come, but. You know, if we get a point, it's so rewarding. Such a boost. Yes! Oh, what? Oh, 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 Rooney has an effort, good effort, better. You know, on the second side, they're going to come out as a game. You need to stay firm. Yes! Oh! This referee for them, I'll tell you something, has been horrific. I'm not complaining because we have so many bad referees, but I think he's basically helped us get our point today. Over that. Perfect battle for Rooney this. I think he likes the rough and tumble of it. I know, like 85 minutes plus because it rough and tumbles my heart rate. Yeah! What's his lot, Brendan Wiridin? Yes, Callum! Five minutes, the roll's gone up. Big five minutes, we've done it for nine, so we can do it for another five. Yes! Well, Fleetwood fans are cheering that they've won the World Cup. I don't care, we've done the polls, we've got a point, we're in the playoff. You know, they're going to be top two, top six. They were poor, the referee was poor, didn't help them. It's a big, big result, a test of character, a test of resilience. We got through it and they never looked like scoring in that second half. Big, big show of our belief. Good point. Now they'll come back better. Thanks very much for watching. Good luck for the rest of the season. I'm so proud of those lads. Sean Rooney, I love you, mate. I love the whole team. See you later.